Well, good morning. Good morning and happy new year. I was actually had this all organised. I was going to be jumping on the bike and doing this and be like riding along with some beautiful little background. But turns out, here's my first ride on these shoes since the crash. Mark, look at those cleats. Took quite a little walk. Take two. It's not long ago, the thought of being up at this hour on New Year's Day would have been beyond confronting. So it's a new year. New Jersey, new helmet as well, though that crater came around because of another reason, but I'm thinking, what do you reckon? Season two, make this the beginning, season two. So this is just quickly about the kind of crash and all that stuff, won't do too much of that today. My second ride back, did some laps of Centennial yesterday. First ride back, and I'll come straight to the park because I want to go past it. Just get it out of my head, move on. Sort of tick that box again, you know? He's over. Just saying, we've taught Jesse so well. He's back there taking photos. Now, I was thinking, this is going to be the beginning of season two, okay? <laughs> So season two starts today. There's going to be some dramatic changes this year. Actually, it's kind of the same guys. Oh look, I'll put a new intro and outro. How's that? There we go. Dramatic changes. So Chris Miller's out of the time trial. <laughs> yeah, do you think maybe podium place has opened up or any other contenders? Oh, well, you know, you've got your Richies and your, your Rowan Dennis's, so I guess there's one spot there. Richie or Rowan, what do you reckon? Well, that's that's the question on everyone's lips. Uh, would Richie be doing it if he didn't have the form to win it, is the question. Who's your non-pro pick for your highest rank in the road race? World Tour? Yeah, a non, you're not a World Tour. Yeah, good question. Cyrus Monk count. I would, yeah. All right. I'd have him in a list. No, bad call. Well, I don't know if he's proven himself yet. Ooh, hear that? He's going on the vlog. This is a bit controversial. Yeah, it's 100%. He's going on the vlog. Stop talking shit about him. <laughs> As if he watches this. Who else have we got? So just quickly, I'm, I'll get on with the day, but I just thought I'd quickly let you know how it's kind of all feeling with me at the moment. Um, it's quite sore, and this is my knee and that sort of stuff. It is a bit sore. There's a lot of bruising really around both knees. Okay, so as it sort of stands at the moment, I'm not gonna race. The way I'm kind of approaching, I'm not worried about numbers or performance or anything like that. What I wanna kind of feel now is like, if I do a ride one day, I don't wanna wake up and have any soreness in the I was having this little chat with the lads this morning, writing goals for 2018, and I'm talking like totally personally. This is probably a terrible idea outing myself like this, but I would like to win a state race. That is one of my goals. The other thing, and I think this is going to start to form a lot more of my individual goals, but the time trial. Um, I would really like a state time trial medal from the elite race. I really want to do a lot more time trialling this year and I think that realistically the this, this state time trial is, is something that I can kind of really target. So the NRS stuff, here's the thing, it's really hard for me to remove like myself from the team's ambitions with the NRS so and I know this sounds wanky but like I would genuinely get as much enjoyment out of one of the guys in our team doing well in an NRS race as me so the last one um, is is a bit more local actually it's it's Westhead now there's there's rumors of Westhead becoming a bit of a series this year 2018 um, I'd like to win that 
Yeah. There you go. That That's a straight down the line, win a state race, time trial medal, Westhead series. Well, I've got you here. So I've got a set of these, and I'm going to try and get a bit of glue on them for for nationals. I probably won't run them, because I probably won't race. But yeah, I'll be really interested to try these out, compare these to the C40s. There's be another one of these sort of tests that we can do in the next couple of weeks, really. I just said in the hospital, I, I wasn't going to talk about this. I really, really wasn't going to talk about this. Mainly because, like, sit down. For everyone in Sydney, Centennial Park just comes with baggage, right? You know, anything, like any incident, any cycling incident that happens in there is like, is just amplified. But the only reason I'm talking about this is I had a number of comments and direct messages from people saying what happened because they want to know like from a how to avoid it happening to themselves perspective. So for those of you who don't know Centennial Park, it's a one-way circular route. Um, there's a right lane, which is cars. There's a left lane, which is bikes and rollerblades and other bits and pieces. But to have a bit of interest to the whole thing, there are a number of gates as you go around, one of which the main one really is the Randwick gates. And at that particular one, cars go so cars go left across the, the bikes. However, the bikes on the left have right of way. Okay, so here is the Ramwick gates and here are the three cars that are waiting to go left. Now, as I come down the bike path here, the bike side, there's another car coming down with me here. I'm gonna make the decision. Now, do I keep going down the bike lane and hope that one of these cars doesn't pull across? Now, as again, they may not see me, which is perfectly justified, they may not see me come across and obviously T-bone. So as I'm coming down here with this car next to me, I'm thinking, right, what I might do is have a look at option two. Now, this is something that people in Centennial do quite a bit. And what we do is we pull into the car lane and have a look to see if there's a clear run down the right. Now, there's about a four meter stretch along here of, of, of road that you can quite happily use. The advantage of that, obviously, is cars are not going right, they're going left. So you get a free run. As I come down here, I have a look, I see the four cars, or well, the fourth car coming in, and I think, yep, I'm gonna have a look. So I slot into here, in behind this car, and then at just at the moment when I go to have a look down the right to see if it's a clear run, the car makes a pretty, a sharp right hand turn to pull in and I have literally nowhere to go. Okay. I need to ask you something. Did the bit come off yet, Ben? Oh, the back bit come off my leg? Yeah, I think it did. Can I have a look? Yep, I'm okay. going to have a look. But I was hoping this afternoon when it cools down we might go for a bike ride, Catherine. Maybe after the free we can do that. Maybe yeah. after the tree. <laughs> We're going to be on the road. Well, I'm going to be on the road for the... Thunder! There'll be less of those guys for about two weeks.